So, I got a request to do a skin routine, right? So, I'm going to do it for you guys. And for those that are waiting for my marriage video, don't worry, that will be up soon. I still have people asking me questions, so yeah, I'm going to have this up for you soon. Before I start this video, I want to say thank you guys for subscribing to my little channel. Thank you. Um, you're not subscribers to me. You're my friends. You know, I, I don't see you guys as, oh, you're subscribers. There's nothing wrong with the word or whatever, but you're my friends. If you subscribed to my channel, you're considered my friend. And I'm going to treat you like my friend. You know what I mean? Because you guys are my friends. <laughs> anyway let's get on to this video okay so first I'm gonna start off with my face and I'm gonna tell you guys the items that I use for my face that's been working for me for the last couple of weeks for about three or four weeks or so this is my number one thing that I've been using for my face it's just been working um, I'm gearing more towards the natural scene more a little bit more expensive but I'm gearing more, more to the natural scene because I'm finally realizing that I'm really, really sensitive towards things. And I'm like, where did this come from? I was never sensitive before, but now I'm like hella sensitive to stuff. So this is the number one thing I use on my face. And I'm going to show you two other options of things that I use on my face also. Okay, so the number one thing I use on my face is actually this. And if you don't know what this is, I know it's kind of shaped funny and stuff. But if you love different African soaps, this is black soap. But this black soap is different because it is infused with a whole bunch of oils. And the main ingredient in this black soap is honey. Um, but it has oil, it has seeds and everything in it. I love love it 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 i wouldn't trade it for the world like i love this soap i use it for my body and my face even though they say you shouldn't use the same anyway <laughs> yeah i use this for my face every day after i get out of the shower i pat dry my face a little bit then i go in with this beautiful product called rose hip water this stuff is freaking awesome i love this stuff i've been using it for the last three weeks three weeks and i'm in love i got this from um where did i get it tj maxx and um it says actually been helping me with my hormonal her, her, what is up i can't talk hormonal acne which i have exactly right here i have get little 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 small bumps right here which creates a whole bunch of texture and i was wondering why things i use it wouldn't go away like because not every face cleanser is good for hormonal acne. Like, seriously, it's not really good for hormonal acne. So I was like, wow, I didn't know rosehip oil plus black soap together will make this wonderful formula that is actually helping me with my hormonal acne. So that's my number one thing. That's just, the, I use that every day. Sometimes when I want something a little bit deeper, I don't know, like a little bit, just a little bit more cleansiness. Well, they do about the same thing, to be honest. I also use two other products. The next product is from Target. It's their line called Expert. And it's their anti-blemish two-in-one mask. I actually got this recommendation from another YouTuber. She is one of my favorite Latino YouTubers. I don't know exactly what. The name of her channel is off the top of my head, but I will put the name of her channel actually in the description bar below um, because you guys need to go follow her. If you're not following her, she's perfect, especially if you're one of those ladies that like makeup and stuff like that. She's awesome. Beautiful, too. She kind of reminds me of my god sister. But anyway, okay, so that's another product I use. The next product I use, I don't use so much because... I can't get over the consistency of this stuff. It's the CV, CVS brand, and it's the Daily Pore Cleanser, oil-free, gentle, clean, smooth skin. This is okay. It's okay. They say it's really, really good, but it's okay. I can't get over the texture. 
like I'm gonna show you. I know the top is probably really disgusting, but I'm gonna show you. Like I I can't get over that texture. Like like it. <laughs> you guys like it's so disgusting. Like that that doesn't look like a cleanser at all. But I use it and it does work sometimes. Like when I really want like a little scrub i use it but i can't get over the texture you guys i'm sorry moving along next i'm gonna go to my body um you guys know i use the black soap too for my body if you want the actual kind that i have i will have to try to find it i will have to go back to the lady that i got it from and ask her where she sells it from but that bar cost me like four dollars and it's still lasting so that's a good thing also now when we want to talk about my what i use on my body that's a whole nother story i like organic things that's on my body natural things oils especially oils oh my goodness i cannot explain to you guys if you <clears throat> if you're not on that oil tip as yet i'm gonna need you to jump on a bandwagon right now Come on, jump on. Because this, you haven't lived until you bathed with oils. Like, you would think that oils will make you look, feel more slimier or make you feel not as clean. But as women, you know, we have, or the women that's watching, you know, some women have like problems downstairs and stuff like that with like TMI, but yeast infections and stuff like that like when your body is reacting to everything that you use you need to start resorting to more natural things because soaps and stuff can be a little bit more harsh and i just like oils um i tried it because my skin was acting up like acting up and i'm like what is it that is causing my skin to act up and then I thought it was like the sulfur lot I forgot what it's called but a sulfur salute something i forgot what it i thought it was that so i stopped using anything that had sulfur or so that type of stuff in it so i came across this brand at marshall's and um i looked at it and i was like i read it and i was like moisturizing with olive and and argan oil and i was like hmm and then i see where it says for hands and body I was like, okay, if I can use it for my hands and my body, this has to be pretty good. But when I looked around and looked at the ingredients, I was sold. I was sold. I was sold. I was sold. This is the brand that I'm talking about right here. And if you look, go to Target, not Target, but Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you will see this brand. And it comes in many different flavors. <laughs> not flavors, but many different types. Um, that's the brand. And this is the one I really like to use because I love the scent of lavender. And trust me, you will have a burst of lavender on your skin. And some people's too much. And I'm going to let you guys see the back because, like, I want you to know that it's, like, truly organic. I hope you can see it. I hope you guys can see that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think it's right there. Yeah. So, yeah, it has oils in it, glycerin, aloe leaf extract, essential oils, and coconut and olive oil. Love it. You can tell the texture. It's not soapy. Even when you shake it, it gets a little bit soapy. But trust me when I say this is phenomenal. How do you... I want to know. Whoever thought about using oils as body wash... You're freaking a genius. Like, seriously? I think, but using oils date back all the way back to the day. But anyway, I feel like I'm ragging. This is the kind I use. I use it all over my body. But one thing about that, if you're going to uh, convert to using oils on your body, you'll run out faster than regular soap. But that's why I mix it with this, my black soap. This and this together. Mm, girl, what? Yes wonderful so this is the brand i use for my body next for lotion 
I'm very picky. I need something that's going to get through all three layers of skin. The first three layers of the skin. Yes. And I, believe it or not, I use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. I use this one. It works for my skin. I have eczema. Love it. Like, I seriously love it. Like, that's all I do. I, I feel, my hands feel wonderful. Wonderful. So, yeah. Oh, for one thing else I forgot. I bought this little spinny thing at TJ Maxx. I use that on my face, too. But it's okay. It runs out too fast for me. So, yeah. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this boring video of my skincare because I'm not really, I don't really do skincare a lot. Like, I mean, like, I don't really use a lot for my skin. So, yeah. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And like and share and, and comment on this video because I made it for you guys. For you guys to know and inform me what I do to myself. And if you have a problem with anything that I use, I'm sorry. It's for me. So, yeah. Please subscribe for more videos. And if you have any comments or anything, put them in the box below. Thank you. I love you guys so much. I love you guys' comments and stuff. You guys are freaking awesome. And <coughs> excuse me. The other day I was thinking I should do an updated video because my locks has hit four years and seven months. Yeah, four years and seven months. So I don't know if you guys want an updated lock thing because I feel like I just did one. I feel like I just did a lock thing for four or five i think four years and five months so i'm four years and seven months now so let me got let me know if you guys want me to do a video on that so yeah oh i do have a video coming up about black seed oil i want you guys to jump on a bandwagon of black seed oil and i'm going to explain it to you in my next video so Bye, you guys. Love you. Take care.